Morning everybody, welcome back to the show. It is a gorgeous morning here and we've got to once again get going because we've got our roof set up and it's gonna get breezy again today. I think that's just the way it is in Northern Illinois in springtime. The warm weather comes, it brings the breeze and we gotta get this roof finished on this side and get to the north side so we can get it done today. So we're gonna get right onto it. Greg, you can hear him nailing in the background, getting the kickers that we put up installed. We don't like to finish framing them until our roof structure is basically in place because it can push or move um, the ends depending on if you put pressure on them or let them loose. So now that we have most of this side of roof screwed, we'll go ahead and frame those kickers in. So we've moved on to this back side and thankfully we've got the telehandler here and also thankfully that this has dried up a lot because I don't think we would have ever made it back here originally uh, when we first got here it was pretty wet. We're going to town here, we got the first bay on, I'm going to keep moving. Problem is up there we got this wind kind of swirling around and we're afraid kind of what's going to happen as we get closer to this end because we're worried about that uplift that we get kind of across the end of the building. So we're going to go ahead and move the telehandler. We're going to give this next bay a go but as soon as we feel uncomfortable it's just not worth it. Man it kills me though I want to just bust this roof out. short-lived guess we're not gonna be doing uh, roofing after all you know what that means we're going home playing for <laughs> well there you go that sucks I guess uh, you guys are probably thinking we are uh, quitters we don't like to take risks, and those things are not true. We just have learned over the years that uh, the chance of something happening is not worth the reward of getting done quicker. We've got some other stuff we can do. We've got some windows that gotta get framed in on the back side. Maybe I'll get up on the boom lift and uh, finish up that end wall framing as well. That's a good idea, Kyle, you just thought of. Good job. Just ate some of the best pizza I've had in a long time at a little, a little diner in town, Francesca's. And that's all thanks to the client, uh, Rich. He sent us up there and said, you gotta try it. Now it's time to go ahead. We're gonna go up and try to get this wall framing done on this end wall. Really, this is like the only spot in this project. You know, we've done enough of these that typically I feel like, ah, we can figure this out. We've done just about every configuration but anytime anytime that we get into where um, you know obviously 
we're doing something different. We're connecting to an existing building. It always uh, adds a little bit of, I wouldn't call it stress, I'd call it more like, um, well, maybe it is stress, but it's anxiety, it's uh, the unknown, it's like, let's just do this. I always know we're gonna figure it out. I mean, I had an idea how we were gonna do all this framing and the connection, but with that being said, putting that truss on the inside actually doubled our job here on this section because right now, we're gonna have to spend this afternoon framing in all these wall girts to fill this in so that we can run our steel. Whereas if we would have just put the truss on the outside, uh, hindsight's always 2020. We would only have to fill in these little corners down here in the bottom. But uh, I guess that's a little lesson learned. This was my idea. For some reason, I thought we were gonna be having that truss down into the roof line and I wanted it on the inside of the building so that we could just frame whatever we wanted to over framing over top of this roof. It is what it is. Now we get to do a little bit extra work and we'll figure it out. No big deal. All right, I'm gonna go get my uh, square line up here. Actually, I don't know if I can do that. How am I going to do that? You know, sometimes it's pretty impressive how hard my hammer hits. Mine hits hard. Sometimes, Greg, it's not. How hard is your hammer hit? You can have a big hammer, you can have a little hammer. I mean, it's all the same. So you're all about quantity. Quantity over quality. You're bound to find the right spot of one of Every once hits, in a while, right? a blind squirrel finds a nut. We need a little level, and we'll level across to the column, level with our fascia, and we'll snap a line top to bottom. Do that. And then that'll be the top of our two by six. Okay, you get the bottom, I'll get the top, bro. Just living my life. Ah. Hey. Mine won't work, Greg, it's too big. <laughs> you know that's what happens when you get old sometimes? It's like, it just stops working. Live your life. Hey. Oh no, my chalk line's in my other. It wasn't this time. I think so. Honestly, I think someone took it. Oh, you want to use your chalk? Oh, okay. Look at that chalk galore. Hey, once you get it hooked, I'm gonna make a climb. It's all about the climb. It's the climb. Oh, we're gonna be enough, no bad. Oh, we're gonna be a. What is it? I don't know. Or no. an open. Oh, there's always gonna be an open door. Ain't about how fast you get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. Bro, right on the mark. Bro, that's so good. Brrrah. Let's go. Okay, we'll cut a 412 because it's going to stick right into that hole over there. Oh, actually, we're going to start with a 412 on this guy. Why don't we just start with 18 at the peak and then work our way down? You know what? I'm tired of your lip. Let's go. Start with 18. Good idea, huh? Yeah, I like it. Ugh. Get it, old man. Ugh. Shrug life. You got to kid me. You got it? But <laughs> why are we doing this? I have a boom lift! Just get it, Ted, we'll use it on the other one! <laughs> okay, we're just off to that side, huh? Hold on, Greg, don't let it fall. <laughs> My shoulder's starting to burn a right little bit. Right about hither, can you twist the board against the... Not board? really! Okay, I got the board. You got the board? I'm gonna get the boom lift. You just hold it. Let it be, let it be. Why can't I start this? You know how to run it? That wire, probably. Yes! This one has a story pull mark. So it okay, should be right uh, on. That's fine. These lines will be straighter than Looks any. Looks like you already got marks on this guy anyways. There is? Yeah. Oh, that's right, I marked those. When I did that door, I marked that and the other one. Yeah. So what's nice. it at, 32 up? 32. Let me uh, look. 34. What? You went 34. No. Yep, stupid. Well, mark 32 from this bottom. All right, dude. No, it's not. It's all right. Why would you mark 34? Chalk line sucks, bro. I'm not your bro. I'm not calling you bro. <laughs> oh, now, <damn> it. <laughs> you like that, YouTube? <laughs> what you gotta do for that edit is you gotta like do like a freeze frame, and like as you're up here like this, like also it's like. <laughs> Like fire or something like like shooting out of you like it was like freeze frame like you know how like in like those cartoons like like it says boom but it's got like that like that fire explosion like yeah yeah it. yeah 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 that's what you gotta do what if I don't want to that's what you should do what are you doing we're gonna do another row or are we gonna no we're just gonna I'm gonna cut that. a block we're gonna make it easy get chalk all over your back bro yeah the watch think about this ten years ago when I was in your shoes I was so hungry. Like, so That's when you started remodeling stuff, isn't it? Yeah, longer than that. 
here. See, I think my problem is not really, it's not really a problem. It's like I've I've worked with old people. Like that's how I started. Yeah. You're calling me old right now. No, like, no, no. Human. Like and like working for them, like in like hearing like about their stories and stuff. Like you just realize like it's more to life than just working trying to make all the money in the world. Well, I don't want to make all the money in the world. Literally, I can care less about the money. I want well, glory. I, I want glory, Greg. Well, that took way more work than it needed to take. I guess a little bit of a lesson learned. We got all that overframing done. We are now able to put our soffit fascia on and we've just got a little bit of blocking down by these doors to do. And we can run steel on this end wall too. And then basically what's gonna happen, I think the customer is gonna have us put new steel on this roof as well. And that vent there, that's gonna go. And then that way we can properly flash this like a good metal to metal connection. Well, that'll be in another episode, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, uh, you know, tune in, hit the notifications, all that great stuff. Obviously that engagement is what we're after. We're hoping that, you know, I'm hoping that somebody's out there learning and looking forward to the next video so that they can learn or be motivated or wanna get out and build something, even if it's not a 66 wide garage edition, whatever it is. So we'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out of here, gonna take my boom lift down. Sorry about that.